In this video, we will create a flowchart that prints the numbers from 1 to n, where n is the upper limit specified by the user. For example, if n is equals to 10, then our program should print the numbers from 1 to 10. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So let's begin. Initially, we will create a starting terminator to indicate the beginning of the program. Now, we'll create an input component to accept the values from the user and store it in variable n. Furthermore, we must create a new variable and initialize it with 1. As initialization is done in the process box, thus, we have to implement the process box 2. Let i is equals to 1. Now, we will use a decision box to determine whether i is less than or equals to n or not. If not, that means i is greater than n. And thus, we will end the program through the end terminator. If i is less than n, we will print it with the output component. Later, we will increment i by 1 in a process box. And finally, we will create a loop before the decision box in such a way that the loop will recheck the value of i for each iteration. Thus, whenever the value of i is less than n, the value of i gets printed and when it exceeds, the program gets terminated. To understand the flowchart in a better way, let's dry run the program by considering the value of n as 3. Since i is equals to 1, the condition in a decision box is true. Thus, 1 is printed and i is incremented to 2. Now again, as i is equals to 2, the condition in a decision box is true. As a result, 2 is printed as well. Additionally, i becomes 3 after incrementation. Again, as i is equals to 3, the condition in a decision box is true. That is, 3 is less than or equals to 3. And 3 also gets printed and i becomes 4. As soon as i equals 4, the condition in a decision box becomes false. That is, 4 is not less than or equals to 3. And finally, the program terminates. In this manner, our program has printed 1, 2 and 3, which is the expected result. Thank you.